What's happening everybody and welcome back to Through the Years. Today we have Steve Nash. It took me about three whole days to complete this video. 24 video games. It was a lot of work man, but I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Now let's try to get this video 500 likes. That would be freaking amazing. You guys are amazing. You guys are a real MVP man. I just put in the work. You guys sit back and enjoy it. And without you guys sitting back and enjoying it, I probably won't enjoy it. Or enjoy, we'll be enjoying it that much. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Now, anyways, man, we kick things off in NBA Live 97. And in NBA Live 97, he is 76 overall. He comes in with an 84 three-point shot, 85 or 88 from the foul line, 79 steals, 61 blocks, 71 defensive awareness, 79 agility. 86 offensive awareness, 82 speed, and then a 93 dribble. Moving on to NBA Live 98, he comes in at 76 overall again. 64 inside scoring, 86 field goal, 92 three-point shot, 84 from the foul line, 69 steal, 84 defensive awareness, 85 quickness, 88 for his pass, 90 offensive awareness, and then an 88 uh, speed rating, and then a 90 for his dribble. So yeah, Steve Nash, still at 76 overall. Now, for NBA Live 99, he is no longer playing for the Suns, as you see that nice leg right there. He is now playing for the Dallas Mavericks, and he is 78 overall, so he moves up by two. 78 overall for Steve Nash with a 69 inside scoring rating, 88 jump shot, 94 for his three-point shot, 87 from the foul line, 73 steal, 85 defensive awareness, 87 quick, 90 pass, 89 offensive awareness, 88 speed, and then a 92 handle for Mr. Steve Nash. One of the best pass first point guards in my opinion. Now his overalls are going to go up and down in this whole video, man. So stay tuned to see what his overall average is out at at the end. Man, you got to stay tuned for that. Now you see him get the ball into Bradley. He making Bradley look good. That's hard to do. Anyways, man, NBA Live 2000 with Timmy on the cover. He's 76 overall. He went back down. He got downgraded, man. What is going on? 73 inside score. 75 mid-range. 85 three-point shot. 82 from the line. 66 steal. 84 defensive awareness. 85 quickness. 90 for his passing. 88 offensive awareness, 87 speed, and then a 92 dribble. And then check out the dribble moves behind the back. Crossover on Avery Johnson. Gets in the lane over the Admiral. David Robinson. What's up, kid? You see Steve Nash? That's a bad boy at 76 overall. He is 76 overall again. Next gen back then with KG on the cover. PS2 style. He's 76 overall again. Again, again, again. 81 field goal shot, 86 three point shot, 88 from the free throw line, 76 from inside or his inside scoring rating, 85 quickness, 87 speed, 90 passing, 82 dribble, 89 offense of awareness, 62 steal, 84 defense of awareness rating. Yes, only them five video games and I'm already tired and we haven't got to the two K's yet. Oh my gosh. But check out the ball movement right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And they know Steve Nash is going to knock that down. Moving on to 2002 NBA Live 02. And he is 80 overall. Finally got over the 80 overall mark. And he comes in with a 81 mid-range jumper at 86 from downtown. 90 from the line. 76 inside scoring. 25 range. That means he's good from 25 out or 25 from 25 feet out and in, if that makes sense. 85 quickness, 87 speed, 91 pass, 92 dribble, 88 offensive awareness, 70 for his steal, and then an 87 defense of awareness rating. And right there, throwing up the alley-oop. Again, making Sean Bradley look good. That's hard to do. NBA 2K2 is 85 overall. If you look to the right, you see his other attributes. Offense is pretty good. Defense was okay. And everything else was pretty mediocre. But again, he's not the most, most athletic guy. But he is a pure fast or pass first point guard. And again, gets a little bit of room. Lays it up and in. Plus the foul. And one for Steve Nash. Moving on to NBA Live 2003. He is 85 overall. His highest overall so far in NBA Live. He also comes in with a 91 field goal shot, 91 three-point shot, 89 from the line, 25 range, 
to 76 inside scoring, 88 quickness, 93 for his uh, speed, 95 for his passing, 93 dribble, 90 offensive awareness, 67 steal, and an 87 defense of awareness rating. Move on to 2K3, it's 83 overall, 94 close, 83 mid, 93 point shot, 84 from the charity stripe, 85 layup, 85 handle, 87 for his passing, 67, or 60, excuse me, for his steal, 85 for his speed, 75 defensive awareness, and then a 90 offensive awareness rating, and check out the dribble move, oh my gosh, that's nasty, crossover to the behind the back, just pretty, oh, so pretty, and then right here, again, dribble move, Bibby has some good defense, but not no more. We lay it up and in around Bibby and over C Web. And y'all might get a C Web one pretty soon, okay? I'm working. I'm trying to get these done for you guys. A little bit of patience goes a long way. A long way. Not a yawn way, but a long way. Anyways, man, NBA Live 2004 with Vince Carter on the cover. Steve Nash freaking gets downgraded. I don't know why, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't, I, I, I ain't watched him play too many basketball games when he was with the Mavs, okay? I'm going to just throw that out there. But anyway, 78 overall for my man Steve Nash. 86 field goal, 78 three-point shot, 91 free throw, 25 range. 50 inside scoring, 97 speed, 92 pass, 90 dribble, 81 offensive awareness, 58 steal, and then a 74 defensive awareness rating for my man Steve Nash. Moving on to 2K4. He is 88 overall. A 10-point swing from live to 2K. I don't know who was right, but I'm going to go with 2K on this one. <laughs> Anyways, man, 94 for his close, 89 for his medium shot, 90 from downtown, 84 from the foul line, 85 layup, 90 handle, 90 pass, 60 steal, 85 speed, 75 defense of awareness, and then a 90 offense of awareness rating for my man Steve Nash. Look at the dribble moves. And then again, hand down, man down. And the words of Mark Jackson, you better keep your hands up around Steve Nash and now NBA Live straight tripping. Okay, now again, I don't know too much about Steve Nash in the early years, but 75 overall seems a little bit ridiculous for Mr. Steve Nash. Man, I'm going to read you some of his attributes right now. He has 86 mid-range, 82 three-point shot, 92 from the charity stripe, 50 inside score, 96 quickness, 97 speed, 97 pass, 90 dribble, 82 offensive awareness, 46 steal, and then a 74 defensive awareness. Now, of course, not all of his attributes, but I still feel like 75 is a bit low, just a little bit. But I ain't no expert. I'm just hurt. I mean, I'm not really hurt. It was a line from a Kanye West song. Google it. Anyways, man, ESPN 2K5. He comes in at 83 overall. 94 close, 86 mid, 82 from downtown, 92 from the charity stripe, 85 layup, 90 handle, 90 pass, 65 steal, 85 speed, 70 defensive awareness, 90 offensive awareness. Now, again, if you look at 2K compared to live, it's an 8 point swing as far as overalls between games that were released in the same cycle year. Pretty, pretty interesting. Again, I don't know which one is right, but I'm going to just lean with 2K just a little bit because it is Steve Nash. You know what I mean? Like around this time, he started to win MVPs. And then NBA 2K6, 93 overall for Mr. Steve Nash. Yes, sir. 90 close, 86 mid, 87 three-point shot, 89 free throw, 94 layup, 95 handle, 99 pass, 68 steal, and 90 speed. Also comes in with an 80 defense of awareness rating and then a 90 offense of awareness rating for Mr. Steve Nash right there did you see the pass check out the replay the pass is beautiful uh from the pocket and then into sean marion's hands are gonna lay it up plus the foul and you know he got the n1 and then coming in transition you see steve nash he's gonna go behind the head not behind the back but behind the head oh it's so pretty and of course 2k7 2k8 one of the best teams to use was definitely the San Antonio Spurs, but besides that, you had the Phoenix Suns you could choose from, and they were pretty good, okay? Had to shout out the Spurs, they were doing their thing, but the Suns were fun to play with as well. Defense was a little bit suspect, but who cares? It's a video game. Ain't nobody trying to play no defense. We talk about defense. 91 overall here in 2K7, 99 close, 86 mid, 89 three-point shot, 92 free throw, 94 layup, also comes in with a 95 handle, 99 pass, 61 steal, 90 speed, 69 defense over winners. 
defense and then a 99 offense of awareness. And then right there again, man, hand in his face does not matter. And then 2K8, before Kobe got Pau Gasol with the update, and uh, I mean, LeBron was still beasting. You know what I mean? You had AI and Carmelo up there in Denver. Um, the Spurs had the Celtics with the big three. But the Suns, again, one of the best teams to play with. Steve Nash, 96 overall in 2K8. 99 close. 96 mid. 91 from deep. 90 from the foul line. 94 layup. 89 handle. 99 pass. 61 steal. 90 speed. 72 defense of awareness. 99 offense of awareness. 77 on ball defense. 92 quick. 99 shot in traffic. A 99 shot in traffic. Freaking sick, man. And then a 90 shot off the dribble. Steve Nash, one of the best point guards. You had Baron Davis with the Warriors. That was my dude. That was my dude. I was dropping, I was dropping dimes and buckets with Baron Davis in 2K8. You don't believe me, you don't have to. I can't prove it to you because I don't have footage of it. But just know I was beasting and feasting with Baron Davis in 2K. But Steve Nash, Chris Paul, Tony Parker, you had some great, great point guards back in 2K. Now moving on to 2K9. 95 overall, 84 close, 91 mid, 97 three-point shot, 91 free throw, 84 layup, 90 handle, or 98 handle, excuse me, 99 passing, 60 steal, 90 speed, 72 defense awareness, 90 offensive awareness, 88 shot off the dribble 79 shot in traffic 92 quick and then a 77 defense so a shot in traffic dropped by 20 but in 2k it was deadly freaking deadly then right here with the shot clock winding down gets that three point jumper to fall 2k 10 with light skin kobe on the cover steve nash comes in at 80 overall so of course at this time his skills start to decline just a little bit but more importantly the sun started to decline as far as production wins and losses and this was the last year that Amari was on the Suns because in 2k11 he'll be playing for the New York Knicks now anyways man in 2k10 he's 80 overall like I said 91 inside scoring 89 close 87 mid 85 three-point shot 94 free throw 90 uh, 79 excuse me 79 from the layup from the layup 79 layup 87 a handle 85 for his offhand dribble 95 for his ball security 95 for his pass 45 still 82 speed 80 52 excuse me for his defense awareness 99 for his offense awareness 82 shot off the dribble 72 shot in traffic and 85 quick moving on to 2k 11 85 overall 98 inside score 95 close 90 mid 85 from downtown 94 from the charity stripe 92 layup 97 handle 97 ball security 98 pass 45 steal 85 speed 67 defense awareness 99 offense awareness 85 shot off the dribble and then a 75 shot in traffic rating for steve nash we are almost at the end i don't know how many games we done did probably like 20 20 at this point or 19 at this point we still got like four or five more to go nba 2k 12 he's 84 overall he also comes in with a 89 inside scoring rating 88 for uh, for his close shot 80 for his medium or his mid-range jumper 86 from downtown 91 from the free th from the free throw line 92 layup 98 pass 97 ball security also comes in with a 55 steal 85 speed 71 defensive awareness 99 offensive awareness 75 shot in traffic and then an 88 quick rating for mr steve nash when i was going up against the blazers i was like you know what i gotta do one from brandon roy gotta do one for brandon roy right we can't forget about brandon roy anyways man 2k 13 he's back down to 80 overall 84 inside scoring 81 close 88 mid 87 three-point shot 92 free throw shot 87 layup 91 for his passing 97 for his ball security 97 handle 63 steal 75 speed 65 defensive awareness 99 offensive awareness 82 shot off the dribble and then a 75 shot in traffic from mr steve nash and right there pulling up in your face payal yeah that just happened i just said payal um i don't know why i said payal but all I can tell you is to uh, get used to it. Payal. Check out the step back. Uh, Jamie Lynn, that's too much space in your face. Payal. Let's go, man. 2K14 next gen back. I can't even say back then. Next gen on the PS4. We got Steve Nash at 80 overall with an 81 close. 88 mid-range jumper. 87 three-point shot. 94 free throw. 87 layup. 93 spin layup. 92 euro step layup. 94 runner. A 91 pass. 55 steal. 
75 speed, 99 offensive awareness, 65 defensive awareness, 82 shot off the dribble, 75 shot traffic, 77 quickness, and then a 97 handle. Golly, that's a lot of attributes, but I did it for y'all. I did it for y'all because I'm that dude. I'm that dude. Moving on to 2K15, he is a free agent, and he is 74 overall. 81 close, 80 mid, 76 three-point shot, 92 free throw, 80 for his um, standing layup, 74 for his driving layup, pass vision is 93, pass accuracy is 84, 57 for his stealing and a 75 speed rating for Mr. Steve Nash. 2K16, he was also a free agent, 81 close. He also comes in, uh, 71 overall, excuse me, 81 close, 80 mid, 76, three-point shot, 92 from the foul line, 74 layup, 93 for his pass vision, 84 for his pass accuracy, 57 for his stealing, and 65 for his uh, speed. And then when we add up all the games that I had, all 24, and we divide those things, he is a 78.5 overall. It hurts me to say that, hurts me to see that. But that's just what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm out. Peace. Hot sauce.